Hello folks, this is Liji from the product management team. And in the next few minutes, what I'd like to do is show you how you can lower the cost of your cloud data protection. Pay just for what you use when it comes to protecting your cloud data. So here I have my Nabaka primary server that I deployed into my Azure subscription using our marketplace templates. Stay tuned for that, it should be coming out shortly. So here I'm going to go and add an Azure subscription in here for discovery purposes. So let's go ahead and put some information in to authenticate into my Azure subscription. And that will, once I've saved that, that'll start discovering all the assets that I need to protect in my subscription. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you can see that the discovery job has started running. So while the discovery job is running, I'd like to switch to the Azure page. And here we have deployed a Kubernetes cluster. And under node pools, we specified the size of the node and also the max number of nodes. So here we've got five nodes specified using the scale method as auto scale. This, along with the time that it takes to perform the backup, allows you to define the cost envelope for cloud compute resources. A couple of other items to note, we make sure that the CloudPoint extension image has been loaded into the container registry, and also that the Kubernetes cluster has permissions to pull that image into the registry. So back at NetBackup, uh, let me show you how to go and link the Kubernetes cluster in Azure to this CloudPoint extension. So close out, go to CloudPoint servers, and here, you have the CloudPoint server, click on the three dots. You have an add extension option. And here it gives you a script that you can download and a token that you can generate and copy right from there to your clipboard and consume it within the script. So this will help you connect this CloudPoint provider and to the Azure Kubernetes cluster. Next, I'd like to create an intelligent group that'll help us manage all our cloud resources more efficiently. So we'll choose our provider and the account and region, all the VMs. I'm just gonna choose all of them right now and add them to a group. There's about 18 of them, that's good. Once the group is done, we can go and add it to a protection plan. You can add protection right up using the menu, or you can use the three dots. So let's go and add protection. And there's a couple of protection plans configured on the system. The snapshot allows me to leverage Azure's incremental snapshot technology. The other one lets me move data to any net backup storage unit. So let's do a snapshot operation. And we'll apply that to the protection plan. However, I would like to go and run this job right now. So we're gonna go and do a backup now. Snapshot and start a snapshot. So you can see the activity as it kicks in, some jobs. And let's go to see our agent pool over here. Right now, the node count has already gone up to two. And we'll give these snapshot jobs a few minutes to complete. Let's take a look at the node count. It's gone up to three now. So, but what's the number of jobs left active? All right, we're going down from 19 down to 10 jobs. And it looks like we are down to five jobs now, so we should see the node count start tapering off in about five minutes. Checking that backup, looks like all the snapshot jobs have completed. Let's give it a few minutes. Now that we are checking Azure, our node count has dropped down from three down to a one. This is just one of the ways that we help our customers better manage their cloud costs and pay only for what you use.